Hey guys, welcome back again to Resident Evil 3. When we last left off, we were basically going through the outskirts of Raccoon City. We have fought many times with Nemesis, and he seems he doesn't want to give up. But upon defeating him in the plaza where the clock tower is, it seemed that he, it infected Jill. And now she's uh, most likely on a point of turning. Since the uh, Nikolai, since he has his own ambitions and his own agenda, so he is not someone to basically uh, trustworthy. And right now we are playing with Carlos, which he was responsible for taking Jill to the hospital and seeing and obviously look for a possible cure, obviously with the help of the doctor here, which he can said he can find some sort of um, some sort of cure for Jill so he's our only hope would he save Jill in time we're definitely going to be discovering that onto this episode so yeah guys without further ado let's get right into it so actually last episode on uh, looking back onto it um it still bums me out that um that fight with Nemesis it would have, I think it would have been a whole lot more better for me if if I had the shotgun. Like, I feel like I would have done more, much more damage, but I don't know how the fuck I did. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's this. Hospital map. Alright, alright. So, some of these places I can't access yet, or I can't do it with Carlos. So, um... Most likely, we're going to have to keep investigating around here. Uh, one disclosure, I do apologize if I sound rough today. Um, I seem to have some sort of uh, throat inflammation, so that's why I, I sound very deep today. <laughs> I may or may not have like some sort of you know, small cold, but eh, I'm fine, guys. Don't worry. I said more manlier. <laughs> I said more manlier. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, come on, Carlos. She's waiting for us. I feel like I'm going to have more voice cracks here. Nurse Journal, September 29th. We tried it. I swear to God we did. But there's nothing else to, to, nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now dying and spreading the infection faster than we could that we can reach them so we've giving up trying those of those of us who aren't infected have barricaded ourselves in here we can hear their cr the cries for help outside the screaming but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us i can't believe we've abandoned our patients it's the worst sin unmanageable for a nurse i can't stop shaking but i want to live i want to live 9 p.m. <coughs> I apologize. N 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying. And hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant. And all we left with now is the moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. We're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Ariana, Miranda, Dakota... I'm so sorry I failed you. Something's call me. Help m Oh my god. Could that be the work of Nemesis here? <clears throat> oh no. No, something else is here. Oh, we're gonna have to bring up big guns. Memos of administration. I... ID cards, ID card rules. ID cards are not to be taken off hospital grounds under any circumstances. As per our, as per our security measures, all employees must store the ID card in their own personal lockers before returning home for the day. Thank you. Administration, September twentieth. Lost locker key, room key. The key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have it may have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. Until it is recovered, we will keep a spare key here in the office. Please stop by administration at the end of your shift to borrow it. Administration, September 24th. Um, It's around here, you say? Oh, look at that. 
Ah, damn, we need a lockpick. So I guess that's something we can only do that with Jill. Um. Well, there's nothing else around here that we can pick up, so. Guess we have to pick up the one on the courtyard. Oh, wait, what's this? I sold ri rifle ammo. No, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, if that's the case, uh, let me just notice the wrong name. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, um. There's nothing here. Is there something here? No. I oh, yeah, we go through here, that's right. To so the nurse station. On the lining room. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, we can crawl down, right? Not this way. I guess that's something we can only do with Jill. And something is there. Right, we can do that. Tactical grip assault rifle. Fuck yeah. Uh, combine with that. So we have more precise. Pretty good. Alright. More green herbs. What's this? That's the key. There we go. Now. Where exactly are we? We still have something in the courtyard. Like right there. I don't think I could have gone there unless there was another way. Yeah. Sorry, pressing the other one. Alright, I guess we can open this and open the lock. Guess we can head upstairs. Actually, let's, you know, examine it. Locker room key. Interesting. Continue the, through this door. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That ain't good. That right there, that was not good. Fuck. Alright, I guess that's the only I can do with uh, Jill then. What the fuck is... Alright. Come on. You have a safe. Not about tape recording. Dakota, I think I know what happened to the missing tape of Dr. B. His research assistant took it. One of my patients saw Abad remove something from a locker in the nurse's station and walked toward the treatment room. I'll try to sneak in and look during the night shift. You just stay cool and keep your keep doing your job. I don't care how important Dr. B is to the medical community. That kind of harassment is not okay. I promise I won't let them destroy the evidence. He's a pig and an asshole, and I'll, I will get his day in court. Stay brave, stay strong, a friend. Damn, someone had some dirt on to him. All right, um, I don't have a security card yet. Oh hi. Oh, you finally opened the door. Take your time. Right. She's, she's down. Right. 
Perfect. Now there should be a note around here. Right? Yeah, there's a safe there, but I don't think I can pick it up. In terms of the sick room, I can actually go in. Maybe we get our answers for that safe around here. Gotcha. Green herb. Uh, we'll keep it. Oh, hand grenade. Now I don't have a space. <laughs> More assault, right? Assault gun. Assault, uh, assault gun. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> assault rifle ammo, for crying out loud. Just in case. Just in case. Okay, so this one's already investigated. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything with that safe. And I don't specifically think I can open that. There's no note around. I don't think I have any notes. Uh, hospital. And memos. No. Otherwise, it will mark it in green for me. So I don't think I have that note. And I don't think I can open that with Carlos. I mean, I don't want to get a wild guess. Unless is it plainly obvious. Is it plainly obvious? Now, now I'm curious. Because sometimes, sometimes you have to like look around to get the code. Like maybe on the side of a safe. That's what that, that's what happened in Resident Evil 2. And right, let's see. Maybe on the whiteboard. And sometimes you have to like look around deeply. Though I wish it wasn't too bright, you know. But uh, I guess we have to work what we have. So I don't see particularly anything to my use so I don't think I have it around here again maybe that's only that's only something that I can do with Jill Oh, well, we can't go there um, yeah so whatever's around here yeah I'm just gonna continue on so like I said I don't particularly feel that I have the code. Ah, this might as well be here now. Uh, store, uh, store, store. Maybe the locker room. Was that right? We do need to get the key card, so maybe that will open the horizons. Now I do not trust. Something's here. Alright, I got the key. Let's open up. That's a big duffel bag. What's in there? Oh, I got my voice crack. I'm not sure if it's alive. What's this? There we go, that's what we need. That's what we need. Spencer Memorial Hospital. John Ralph Orthopedic Doctor. Okay. John Ralph, not that it assigned. Okay. Perfect. Anything else we can open up here? Thought that we were met in a dead end. Well, we have the key card right now, so and we can discard the key. <clears throat> so yeah. Oh yeah. Now, now I feel something's coming. 
Alright, the game is even saving for me. That's when you know that something's coming. Oh my god, look at this hideous thing. I got more bullets than when I... Where that came from? I'll go full. Oh, no. oh damn. That was quick. That was quick. What the actual fuck? And I'm, and I'm, um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Let's get this fucking shit. Read all the fucking thing. I need a fucking heal. Oh no. Oh, this ain't good. How much how much do I do, do I get? That's not that bad. Oh shit. How am I doing? How am I doing? I'm still doing fine, I'm still doing fine. I just need a flashbang. Just throw the fucking thing! You dead? Jesus Christ. You said it yourself. <laughs> Damn. Holy fuck. <laughs> well, I'm definitely going to take uh, the first eight spray and a hand grenade. Because something tells me that I'm gonna need that right now. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, man, my god, I'm got already scarred from all that. Jesus. Alright, so. I'm trying to think. Um. Which one has key card? This one has key card. I know that for certain. Uh, does this one have a key card? At least it's somewhere, so maybe. I don't know. Uh, I know for a fact some of these do. And this one needs a voice recording. So. Maybe. I'm just gonna have to try. I know for one nearby I had one. Alright, this is outside, so. Yeah, this one had one. Okay, perfect. Perfect! We may actually find a solution here. Alright, so we place this in. We open this bad boy up. I don't know what the f I don't I don't know what it's gonna take me. I still have it. I still have it right. Yes, I do. Oh fuck! That ain't good. And that's where. That's the treatment room. I'm not gonna go in there. No. Fuck no. Why, why should I? If the code is in there, I might have to th rethink my life. <laughs> good thing I'm not. <laughs> the, well, the good thing here is that there's no nemesis. <laughs> For now, I think. Motherfucker, you lied to me. Get the fuck off me.
Get the fuck away from me. I still got more. I, I got more her herbs to do. To play with. So. I'm not too bothered by it. Uh, that's where we came from. So let's do a f good sweep. More salt rifle. That's for Jill. Yeah, with Jill, we're gonna definitely have to revisit like the entire hospital to pick up some of these lock rooms. Uh, that will definitely open up. So that's a shortcut. Perfect. Um, no code. All right. Uh, I'm gonna prepare this. Open up. Open up. No shit. Wow. Okay. Weakness. Explosive. Noted. L let me just, you know, make sure. Okay. They are weak to explosive. Perfect. <laughs> Good to know. We need that for this. Come. Combine. Alright, is that all of it? Fuck. So wait, is she serious? There's like no way of knowing the uh I I'm not gonna have to look it up. <laughs> no save combination for uh, this man? This gotta be. Alright, let's search that up. Safe. <laughs> you guys just like to hear my voice. That's that's what's going on. Uh, now let's see. I don't want the solution. I want to know where exactly I can find it. Uh, okay. Okay. So. Yeah, I don't want to know the fucking combination. I want to know where the fuck that is. Wait, what? Uh, the, okay, so the solution can be found in the operation rooms of the hospital. You'll be able to access. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so we can actually go there. I, I, I don't want to do it. It is called cheating, and I don't like being a cheater. I knew, I knew I'd find one. Get the, f Get the fuck in. We're safe. Um, I don't have anything to go up against that thing. I don't have a grenade. Yep. Yeah, you stay there. Wow. Exploit. I like it. Get down. Alright, um, what would be best? If I drop down... Ooh, wait, hold up. Ammo? I missed ammo? Thank you. Can't believe I missed that. Alright, that's fully explored. Um... Yeah, I think would be best if I go... Down here. Yeah. It would be best if I drop down here. Go through here, and then we. And obviously, instead of going up. Come on. Line up for me, guys. Line up. Gotta, gotta clean this aisle. That it? Alright, you down? Gotta make sure every single one is down. Perfect. That is how you clean. 
I actually needed uh, a herb as an emergency, so good thing. Actually, that's open. That's for Jill. There's a lot of things for Jill's here. God damn it. Alright, use this key card. Let's open this up. I see what's around here. So, where is the letter? Ooh. That's a nice gift. Nah, I'll take it. Damn. Damn. I feel very modest. Damn. Can we chill? Alright, so supposedly there's a note here. Where the fuck that it is? I have no idea. Uh, let's, let's see. There should be a note. Alright, there it is. Ari, lost items. To all employees, we've been inundated with reports of lost items. If you find something and it is unclear who it belongs to, do not take it home. Please deposit in it, it in the nurse's station safe. The safe combination is 9 clockwise, 3 counterclockwise. Thank you for your cooperation. Really? That short of a... That short? Just two digit number? I don't know. Right. Let's open this here. So, yeah, we have to go back here. In fact, I need to do this with Carlos. I don't think this is one for Jill, so. So it's clockwise. No, it's counterclockwise. Fuck. So nine clockwise. Three counterclockwise. There we go. So we now have uh, dual magazines, which now will increase our reload speed. If we combine it, obviously. Oh, more ammo. Damn, we're gonna go literally. <laughs> we're gonna run out of ammo. <laughs> I do have magazines, it's just literally that. Just more. I mean. Let me just examine this. Dual magazine? That's not how it works. Increased capacity to 64 rounds. Um, to my knowledge, this type of thing, unless it's, you know. No, it's simply a faster mag option. Like, you reload quicker. It doesn't increase 64. It should say also reload speed increase. And we, now we can discard the, you know, the key card. Alright, so this, we're gonna have to deposit some of these. Uh, like this, for example. We're gonna keep these because uh, I don't think we can loot anything else here. That's good. Right. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through the same way we went. We're gonna go the same way we went. Come on, Carlos. We gotta save Jill. <laughs> We gotta save Jill. She needs us. And she's gonna wait the fuck up and say, like, what the fuck is going on here? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> Alright, so, um. Open sesame. No voice match found. <laughs> Why would that work? This is Nathaniel Bard. Open the door, please. No voice match found. <laughs> Come on, let me in, you piece of shit. No voice match found. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. No <laughs> voice match found. Hmm. Guess it has to be the voice of someone with clearance. Alright, so we know that. Can we play it? Can we play it? Can we? 
I got the tape. I added the tape. I don't think it needs anything else, right? here. Unlock the voice amplification door. Yeah, we, we know that. We got the audio cassette tape. What am I missing? Oh, now you fucking do it. Oh, that's brilliant. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bedpan changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. What an asshole. Oh no. That doesn't look good. Ammo. More ammo. Holy shit, he's giving me a lot of ammo. Now we can discard that. Banquet invitation. Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Hotel, where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Dragon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be Major Michael Warren, Chief of Police Brian Irons, and other distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998, 6 p.m. The Orient Restaurant, the Central Hotel, second floor. We would be honored if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Uh, okay. Handwritten note. Is that, uh... Who's writing here? <laughs> Nate, I'll be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in mid-August. Bring the cash. We've booked a suite for the usual after-party. You're, you're, you're a brunette guy, right? I'll let Irons know. Okay. Shady stuff. Well, he passed it along. I guess. We just met him for over... Over over Skype. <laughs> over Microsoft Messenger. <laughs> Damn, that makes me feel old. I um I see here. Email from Nathaniel Bourne to Greg Tester, subject reply immediately. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've always been a good friend to me. So I'd like to offer you a way out. I have in my possession one dose of a vaccine for the virus. The Holy Grail. And it's not for my family. Nor for my ladies on the side. No, Greg. I'm, saying, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States. But if you want the goods, Greg, we have you have got to take to get me the hell out of here now without umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See if someone can get a rescue team in here without the UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. 
which should sound pretty chasty after the party's been we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out. Nate. This is BRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29th, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus, and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So huh. they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Shady. No, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... She had no clue. Is it here? Must not must must be. Has to be. Look at that. Vaccine sample. We're getting the fuck out of here. I'm not wasting my bullets with these guys. <gasps> okay, so you do, you do, you do that, you do that. Motherfucker. Oh, wait, could you just not do that? Could you just not? I'll spray and pray if I have to. Good thing the game gave me a lot to deal with. All right, how the fuck do I get in here? Oh yeah, that's only for Joe. <laughs> I remember, okay? Yeah, I don't, think I, I don't think I can get in there. Well, making sure everything is... Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. That's only we. That's only Jill can open. Right. Um. You're gonna be okay, Jill. Yeah, we're gonna have to throw these in. And we're gonna have to save. So yeah, there we go. Hang in there, Jill. We got this. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Here you go. Where exactly you have to put that in? Should be fine. Come on, this shit better work. It's gonna work. Don't worry about it. It's gonna work. You just gotta wait. Uncontainable. On October 1st, 
Raccoon City will be completely destroyed in a missile strike. All residents capable of rational thought are urged to evacuate immediately. This is not a test. Attention all citizens. And that's only a day away. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. Better grab some gear. It sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Oh, we definitely are. We already grabbed some gear. Yep, well, we're ready. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Again, how the fuck they got here? Alright, tell them. Play a holdout. Okay. Now the fun shit begins. This should be fun. Alright, so we have ammo. here as well. We got this in the bag. Shit. I'm, <laughs> I'm missing my shots. This bitch is really Right there. There we go. What's this, what's this guy doing? Don't worry, we got this. You focus on trying to close this shit. Did yeah, they try anything bad? We got this. Combine, there we go. Oh shit. There's more, more ammo around here. Find the breaker now? What the fuck do you want me to go there now? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, this sucks. Alright, um, we need this now. Right, that, should, that should kill it immediately. We got this. We need to find the record now. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's bad. Oh, we're running low on ammo. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, that saved my life. You better act quick. Motherfucker. I'm so dead. Ah, yeah, I'm dead.
I'm not changing my difficulty to a Sisma. What the fuck? I'm not a pussy. Alright, um... Yeah. I definitely gonna have to keep. Yeah, we can skip this. Okay. Now the fun ship begins. Do we have another? Yeah, we do. Oh, yeah, we have to another spot. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely use all this up. How much ammo we got now? God damn it. Could you just not? Speedrunning this. My um. Yeah, we have no space whatsoever. Reload the fucking thing. Alright, we're definitely gonna have to switch over. Come on. We got this, we got this. Come on, we got this. I'm gonna run so low on ammo. He does. Oh, this ain't gonna be pretty. Uh, because we got this. There's more stuff here. Alright, is that clean? Oh, we have a... Oh, yeah, we have the hip pouch as well, which I forgot. Uh... Oh, fuck. This is bad. Come on. I might actually should have saved some for the hunters. But I think we're doing fine. Oh no. That ain't good. Oh, we should have saved for the hunters. Go 
Come on, Windows. Yeah, I'm running low. Should be good. We got to detonate. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Throw his blast bang. I don't think I have anything else. Uh, do I need to cover myself? That's what is going on. There we go. Now that should block the entrance. And holy shit. I need a hero which send the zombie siege. Not even close. But at least it's over. I'm coming back. Seems a real deal. Good. You going somewhere? You're damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Bowsy motherfucker. All right. Now it's chill. Now we're gonna be playing chill. That looks fine. Oh boy. You heard that right, Jill. You heard that right. October 1st, 12, 3 a.m. Ooh. We have a new handgun. Ooh. Hey, Jill. Hey, Jill. As you can see, we have a lot of shotguns, so we might actually gonna have to take a shotgun. Uh, we're going to store that, I guess, maybe. Can I add my sight onto it? No. Uh, what else do I have? I must was store that. Actually, we can actually combine that. Hold on. Let's combine these. Store that. We don't need that right now. Uh, we're definitely taking this. 
Maybe I'm gonna store the pistol. Maybe I, don't, I won't need it. I'm telling you, shotgun will possibly do more. Oh, look how much! Look how much ammo I've got! Damn! Damn! We store that in as well. I mean, I might as well take my pistols. Oh, uh, let's see. And we're obviously gonna save here because we definitely have to. How we can go a little bit more? Maybe it'll give us time to actually look the rest of the hospital. Morning, sunshine. You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself. Crazy bastard. Where is he? Went underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine, enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking to you. Storage facilities underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect the trouble. Oh, uh, we will. Anything else around here? Because I definitely used a lot in that in that part. So we definitely need another head pouch. Can I speak with you? No. Please tell me that this box over here is. Yep, yeah, it is. Now I can open this up, but I'm not gonna do that yet. Spencer Memorial Pamphlet. Welcome to Spencer Memorial Hospital, the heart of Rankin City Healthcare, the forefront of science. Spencer Memorial Hospital was meticulously designed by the Spencer Foundation to serve as the backbone of medical care throughout the region. In addition to our state-of-art outpatient wing and spacious inpatient wing, we boast one of the grunt crunt uh, country <laughs> cr <cr> the fuck <coughs> what the fuck was I about to say? We boast one of the country's largest research wings. We were con we where we conduct clinical trials for new drugs that will change the face of med medicine across the United States and the world. Alright, so I'm expecting that some of these are, you know, I'm expecting new trouble, so. So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna waste my ammo here. Like, it's like four. Four bullets of this pistol. What is this? Mag ammo. Ooh. I mean, maybe burst. Uh, the thing is with burst, if you guarantee your shots that that one shot is sufficient amount for yourself, then you don't specifically need it. You don't specifically need yours, you know. Your specific shots. Okay, let's see what's over here. I know for a fact it was locked something. This looks like Nikolai's work. <laughs> how'd you how'd you guessed it? Alright, that's because of the explosive thing, okay. I'm uh, definitely gonna have to come back because now I'm full. Who guessed it? I think my closest one is going upstairs, so I might as well do that. Yeah. Oh, hi! I can open the fucking door? Jill, don't do this to me. Don't be like Carlos, please. I'm begging you. What the fuck is he? Where'd he go? Oh shit. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. No, I don't want. I do not want assisted mode. 
as a hunter. Hunter, hunter beta. Yeah, and we walk all the way back here. It's okay. At least I know what the fuck I need to do. So, yeah, I'm not going to oversize myself. I think just with a shotgun I can do it. Yeah, we are skipping this part. Wait, that's not what it gave me. Did I? What? Was, no, that's not what it gave me. Excuse me, what? That's not what it gave me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Excuse me. That was not the loot. Now I'm going more. I'm going shotgun mode on this one. <clears throat> yeah, reloading is gonna be a hassle. I know that for sure. Specifically, knowing that there's now a hunter there. Yeah, that's not gonna be a good idea. Man, right, let's go straight to the left. We're gonna pick up that explosive uh, dust. Now it's our only way in. Yeah, this is Nikolai's work, which surprises you not even saying it. I I don't have. I did take it. Gotcha. Yeah, just a lot of just a couple of shotgun shells to it, and it's dead. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Explosive rounds. I like that. Maybe just using explosive rounds, maybe I could just easily take these hunters down. <laughs> yeah, I'll just make, you know, the expedition a little bit more faster, maybe. Seeing how they're just literally just one grenade, it can just kill them. So, doesn't surprise me there. Alright, so we know for a fact there's a, you know, clear checkpoint up here. We're doing fine on health. Uh, we have to go to the right, the sick room, the treatment room, and the linen room. So, we're going to place that in. Uh, we don't have another explosive powder. We're definitely going to restore that magnum ammo. So Until we get to find the magnum. What was that? I heard that. Oh. Motherfucker. Right. Yeah, I got shotgun, bitch. I got shotgun, bitch. Right, look at that. Just one shotgun shell to their faces and they're done. Simple ass. I'm not in. It doesn't say a system, all right. I, I just don't want that to be the case. I'll be very. I'll be very upset if it, the game changed it for me. Because I must collect. That'll be horrible. <laughs> that would definitely just ruin my <laughs> my dignity. That looks twelve shotgun shells like. Come on, game. <laughs> Look at that. Come on, Jill. We gotta save Carlos before we do that. I'm expecting another hunter. And uh, uh, obviously, we can actually go through this way now. I think I can squeeze by. But n nice, I guess. There was something following me, wasn't there? Okay, never mind. Alright, let's jump down. 
because we know exactly this is only for Jill. Oh my god. A desert eagle. Kendo's army. Collect all weapons in the campaign. Awesome. Now, is that all the uh, all the um, accessories, maybe? Like, all attachments, that's what I wanted to say. Like, the Magnum is going to do some serious damage. How much, though? I do not know. But damage, it is going to do indeed. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to keep using the shotgun. Um, maybe later on? I'm not so sure. High grade gunpowder. Perfect. Maybe two more I can actually. Yeah, I think two. Maybe another one can actually give me Magnum ammo, I think. Because I think just a normal one and a high grade one, it gives you the shotgun ammo. So I'm, I'm expecting a double high grade gives you more Magnum ammo. Here. Am I expecting trouble? No, I dealt with the trouble. <clears throat> Alright, so. More magnum ammo. Perfect. The more the merrier. <coughs> Alright, treatment room is the only thing we got to explore. And then we just basically explored the entire hospital. So, good thing we kind of went back and checked. Alright, any lockers to, for me? No. Maybe at this uh, thing over here? Yes, that's indeed what we're going to be looking for. So, uh, A and B is the only ones we have. And that's basically it. So, we're going to go to the um, safe room. Um, definitely going to have to need that. So we pick this up. Um, yeah. Combine. We got some flame round or flame rounds. Uh, more magnum. I don't have any gunpowder, sadly. Uh, most likely, what's gonna happen once I go down with it, maybe that door we have? That's that's definitely gonna go away. I think. I say I think, okay. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to present me with another safe room, so I actually have no idea. Yeah, we still have standard. Perfect. Good to know. But anyways, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode right there. Uh, I'm actually liking, you know, you know doing this like short, <laughs> short episodes like I normally do. If I so happen to give you a long episode, it's because, you know, we're about to finish it. I'm not going to leave, like, a 30-minute <laughs> episode. If it ends up happening, then I have no choice because sometimes I don't know when I'm playing blind three blindly. Uh, but I'm, I think I'm just, you know, picturing what, what I have left. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty good. So, yeah, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll definitely see you guys on to the next episode. But until then, peace out.